out to the waist trainer. Y'all can see it, but it's, it's right here. Ma'am. Yes, sir. Got the phone with the sheriff department. I was like, baby, what? <laughs> Good morning family and welcome back to another video. My name is the Anissa Monet, licensed massage therapist, business owner, mommy, all the things we talk about it on this channel. Okay, so this morning you guys, I'm doing something different. I am at the Harvest Hope here in South Carolina, well in my region, and I decided that I'm going to start giving back in this season, volunteering. So when I do have a little bit of downtime, instead of always putting it into my business, I want to give back to the community. So today I'm at the Harvest Hope. They do process food, send out food to communities um, in need. And I'm just going to show up and do my part today. So let's go see what happens. I don't know if I can film. I'm not going to take my camera, of course, but I, I'll try to see what I can get and share with y'all. But until then, I'll see y'all in a few minutes okay bye well you guys so we have completed our first day of volunteering and i must say it was extremely hot after okay when i first got in there it wasn't that hot i'm at the gas station so I'm letting the car pump. Um, but it wasn't that hot when I first got in there. Then I started working. It was really hot. So I also, I tried to put this event together with people in my community. I made a post and no one responded. So I was like, I'm still going to go because I want to do it. I was going to ask a few other entrepreneurs to go with me. But since no one responded, I went by myself. And I had a very good time laughing with some of the workers in there. But Needless to say, they had me in my little corner by myself where I was separating the stuff. And once I finished my two hours of volunteering, I was free to go. I enjoyed it. I will do it again when I have some time off. But I just wanted to be able to give back versus just laying around in the house watching TV all the time in my downtime. Just do something with my with my time that I have been gifted. And volunteering was one of those things. Let me get my, my pump. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. We are in the house, y'all. I got my tripod here. I got a client. I got two massages, so I am going to be filming some content today in the treatment room. I had my breakfast. I had some oatmeal this morning. I got a little bit of watermelon. I ate. I brought this yesterday for today, but last night I ate half of it. And so that's all that's left. So I'm gonna eat that today. And if you never had watermelon with squeezed lemon on top like the TikTok girlies are doing, you're missing out. Cause this combination is top tier, top tier. But today I have to take care of some important housekeeping stuff. So I am about to launch um, a service that I wanted to do last year, but I just, Sometimes I talk myself out I talk myself out of things, but I've been wanting to do it, wanting to do it, and I'm finally getting ready to make that happen. So I'm getting ready to post that flyer today and send out an email about it. And I am gonna show y'all, but I also need to finalize the flyer for the school that I showed y'all and get that sent over to the coordinator for the college. I'm gonna do that today as well. Yep, the flyer. I already showed y'all the flyer, but I'm working on that as well. I'm trying to think if I have already created a link. Mm. Oh, is that an ant? Baby. Mm. I don't know, but my client should be knocking on the door in a minute, y'all. So I will see y'all in a little bit. We got to get to work. So I need to write down in my agenda book what i got to do today so when i finish the massage my mind isn't blank so i'll see y'all in the gypsy oh my laptop back to die it's a lot of exercise trying to get dressed up in the morning, <laughs> look at your hair <laughs> you had it all slick when you got here <laughs> well i always always take a shower before i come <laughs> yeah, you know what what, am I trying to impress you or something? <laughs> or did I offend you? Oh, I'm sorry. Or maybe you need to be offended. 
Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who would say that to people? Oh, yeah. Let's pull that September, but it's also I don't want, well, that's in the 26th. Because yeah, we had to wait till about 12th. That's why he didn't. That's why he doubled me up, I think. I don't know why we doubled you up. You want to keep that one? Which one? The Thursday one. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why we did that. Hey. Mm -hmm. All right. Well. Don't matter to me. <laughs> okay. Well, I got you. Every Thursday in September are your days. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. Cool. Is that lemon? No, it's oil. <laughs> is it oil? Oh, so that. Oh, yeah. that is definitely lemon. So it's watermelon and. Ooh. I'm gonna squeeze. I'm gonna. Okay, so it is. What time is it? Twelve thirty-one. My client come in at twelve thirty-five. I'm hungry. My stomach is growling. So I'm just gonna eat me just a little bit of watermelon. Just a little bit. Got my lemon. Yeah, this is so good. This combination is. I done squirt the juice all over my <laughs> all over my uniform, y'all. But it's so good. Ooh. Lemon. Mmm. I wish I could share with y'all. Look how juicy the watermelon. Y'all know we don't get good watermelon like this all year round. So after you see this video, run and get you some watermelon, squeeze you some lemon over it, and comment. Let me know what you think. Okay, so my client is in the treatment room. She is under the red light for a few minutes. So while she's doing that, I am working on this. So I told y'all in a previous vlog that I was creating, I showed y'all the flyer that I showed y'all that I was doing for the school. So I'm just not getting around to finalizing that flyer and I'm sending it over to her. Her title is, cause maybe y'all have this at a school nearby. She is a community engagement coordinator. So maybe you can look for your local um, school or colleges or technical colleges and see if they have a community engagement coordinator and just do what I just did create a flyer for a student and staff to come and get massages from you and include a coupon code or whatever and send it over to them and just see what they do yeah so I'm about to send this right now send just press send so now that I've done it I can go ahead and check that off in my planner that that has been completed the best thing about ending some of these sessions is the tilt money <laughs> tilt money and the craziest thing is you're going Walmart it all gone gone as soon as you put two things in the buggy gone they just take your whole little tilt money I ain't lying. Y'all know I'm not lying. <clears throat> I got this little cold, y'all. Excuse me. But I'm getting ready to go get me some lunch. Go get Eli and take him to his counseling session. And then be right back up here because I got one more client before we go home. I know y'all hearing my throat. I need to go to Starbucks and get a medicine ball because what in the world? My throat. I'm clogged up like a sinus. Like... <clears throat> I really don't know. It's not COVID. Trust me. Because I took a COVID test before I worked on anybody. It's not COVID. It's just real stuffy. I don't know. But, yeah. Let's go get something to eat and go get Elijah and take a little break. A little breaky break. <clears throat> Y'all, it is... It's hot out here. It's crazy how the weather works. Like, one minute... Oh, Jesus. One minute is cold. The next minute is raining. Now it's hot. Let me see. What's the temperature out here? Oh, my car don't, ain't even registering. The temperature is so hot. Jesus. But like I said, I'm on my break. Oh, God. I think I missed the trash. I'm sitting here looking at the trash, y'all. 
my trash can, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's, it's right here. All the other trash cans look like they're empty. And it looked like I missed the doggone dump again. What? I know you're lying. I look like I missed the dump again. But oh well. Oh, I can't keep up. I be trying. It just ain't working for me. <sighs> I'm on my way to get me some lunch. And I'm going to get me some catfish nuggets from the local shrimper here. My client just um, sent me a text. Her husband, I don't know what he does, but they have over 200, I think she said, employees. And he knows how to get government contracts and uh, grants and different things like that. And he has agreed per my client um, request to work with me to help me figure out some stuff. So I'm excited because, wow wow just you know just being in the room and being able to get the help that you need because there's it's only so much that i can do on my own um with the help of the lord of course but he definitely will send people to help orchestrate your next level and i believe that's the season that i'm going into now because it's only so much that i can reach on my own with the knowledge that i have and he's sending people to help me to my next level so i'm grateful for that and i told her i would gladly come over there and talk to him tonight so that he can help me um hello how are you good how are you good i like to get the catfish nugget or what is it the catfish strip yes um a baked potato Yes, can you fry it a little hard? A little, not too hard, but you know, just extra. Um, can I get a lemonade, please? All right, anything else? That's it. Thirteen forty-nine. Thank you. Ooh, for thirteen dollars, baby. Where the fish throw at? Can I fry me some catfish strips? Mmm, what I love. Mm, looking a little dark. Oh well, y'all see me, right? But what I love about picking Elijah up from school just a little bit early is I can sit in the parking lot like right now and use this time as my downtime because I be so busy. So to be able to just like take a few minutes extra and sit out. Like when he goes to therapy out there in the country with the horses and stuff, y'all. I be sitting in the car because it's an hour. So I sit in the car. Oh, excuse me. Sometimes I go to sleep or sometimes I just scroll and get content ideas on Instagram. Or like today, I'm going to be reading my book for the first couple of minutes and then I'm going to try to take a nap. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Just gonna ask her for some cocktail sauce. Thank you. Can I get some cocktail sauce and sour cream and butter? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I'd be nervous asking people for stuff because you know they be acting. You tell you ask for more sauce, people get mad about that kind of stuff. So I'd be, I'd be nervous. So Elijah is at his therapy. Y'all remember the equine, equine intervention therapist is where they work with children. They do counseling. Are those doves? Oh, y'all look. Look at the birds. I don't know if y'all can see them. Do you see all those birds flying around? They're white birds. So I think that they are... They got some over there in the tree. They look like doves. They're like pure white birds. That's that's crazy. I had to put my glasses on so I can see better because they might not be doves because doves aren't that big, but they are pure white and they're just sitting on top of the tree. I did do a video, but I couldn't get it on the camera. But anyway, what I was saying was I'm here at Eli Counseling and I'm about to read my book and probably take me a little nap because I'm a little tired, so.
I just had to update y'all and let y'all know where I was at. And y'all, everybody is coming in on the, the purple, the lavender. They're saying that the scrubs look professional. So I think I'm going to, for this season, this next season of partnering with the Anissa Monet Peace of Harmony Day Spa, we are doing scrubs, okay? We're doing lavender, purple, I mean, duh, lavender and black. That's it. In, in the maroon color that I have, but yeah, these are cute. Pick you some up, girl. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the end of the week. It is Thursday, y'all. I don't think I filmed at all yesterday, but it is Thursday. We got a full house. Let me just show y'all how much of a full house we got. And today is my payroll. So here's our calendar. I don't know why I be thinking that child. We go through this all the time. But anyway, it's like, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six people today. So let's get started. I'm waiting on the client now. She is actually a minute late, which is unusual for her. For her, she is my, she's a lawyer. So it's possible that she got called into um, a case. So she may not be coming. I don't know, because sometimes, you know how with lawyers and judges and court system and stuff, sometimes she had to just show up unexpectedly, and she would text me, like, letting me know that this is happening, but sometimes she doesn't have the ability to do so. But she's normally never even a minute late, so when this happens, I kind of already know that she probably has a case going on. So that's probably her situation. But, yeah, I got to get these towels about the sink real quick. I'm going to put y'all down for a few moments, and I'll pick you up in a little bit. Y'all... See, I got my watermelon. It is 3.14. I've done clients all morning. I've picked Eli up from school. I even had lunch brought up here. I ate that. And now I'm eating my snack, which is my watermelon and my lemon. Y'all, I had to go by the gym this morning. Well, before I went and got Eli from school because... I got an email saying that my account was delinquent. Y'all know, I haven't been to the gym in like four months, right? Well, my account was hacked, my bank account, so I got a new card. I didn't notify the bank, I meant the gym because I forgot. Well, the gym just uh, still let my account be active, but they still weren't getting the money, so they were not receiving their pay for a couple of months. Listed me as delinquent, but my key card still worked. And I was like, what are we doing? This doesn't make any sense. But nonetheless, I got it taken care of so that I can get squared away and just, you know, be consistent. Be serious about my health. Like, not just saying it, but actually doing it. Like, it's, it's a lifestyle thing. It's not a beauty thing. It's not a image thing it is a me thing just wanting to remain healthy and keep my heart right you know mm. but yeah 275 and a single spot for 175 okay can you also send me an email mr hopkins if you have yeah, sure a flyer is. or something i do what is a good email address for you um so it's p as in Paul, Harmony Day Spa at gmail.com. Day Spa at Gmail. Gmail. Yes, sir. All right. I'll get that sent to you here in just a few minutes. Thank you. Okay. And when is the event? Um, so they're trying to get everything wrapped up by the end, end of this week to, well, it is the end of this week, right? Okay. okay. Uh, probably <laughs> more toward the middle of next week, considering it is Labor Day and everything. Um, and then, of course, it is for the 2025 years, so you will okay. get those, uh, they'll mail you a couple of those calendars out before the uh, the beginning of the year starts. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye -bye. Thank you. Y'all, that was, so I had a, first of all, first of all, let me just tell y'all, I, I just had what I would consider a disgruntled client but before i say that i just got the phone with the sheriff department um he left an email he was like this is so-and-so with um the sheriff department and i was like 
Baby, what? And he, but before I could, my nerves could go to pounding, he was like, nothing is wrong. And I was like, oh, okay. So I called him back and he just, as you heard, just basically trying to collaborate about some sponsorships and stuff like that for an event they got coming up. But the disgruntled client. Okay, guys, I had a client. First of all, y'all know I do Groupon. Groupon is... I'm noticing it's a different, it's just different, okay? I'm just leaving it at that because I don't want to take what I'm saying and run with it. But these particular clients are not um, in the state. So I guess they're coming in and they're just looking for things to do in the area. Kudos, that's cool. Y'all know I'm a small business. They don't know that. I'm here by myself majority of the time doing what I got to do. So I'm answering the phone. I'm scheduling emails. I'm rebooking. I'm checking out and I'm providing service with my hands. It's a lot for one gal, okay? So... I'm checking my voicemails because I have the time to do it. When I go home, I like to tend to my kids. I don't be on the phone doing all this. Like, I, I can't eat, sleep, breathe. Peace and harmony day spot. I had to learn that. So I'm checking the emails while I have time, checking the voicemail, and I respond to him. I call him. And he says, You mean to tell me you just now calling me back? I'm coming in this town Saturday, and I'm trying to figure out if you're going to be open or not because I don't want to waste my money. And I'm like... We're not going to let the flesh pop off. We're not going to do that. We're going to listen. And I was like, I'm because I was blown away. I'm confused. I'm like, okay, am I misunderstanding something? Did I send out an email? Did I call you? Like, what gave you the impression that I won't be here? And he says, because you ain't answered the phone. And he was yelling at me. And I was like, well... I haven't had the chance to call you back, but I'm calling you back now to make sure everything's okay. I said, would you like to keep your appointment still? What? Do you want to keep your appointment still? And he was like, oh yeah, I still want to keep my appointment. I just want to make sure you want, you want finna be closed and playing with my money. Ooh. Mm. But in times like that, even though the customers, like they say, customers are always right. However, as a small business owner, you have to let customers know in the nicest way, I'm doing the best I can with what I got. But I can still accompany you. I can still treat you. I can still, you know, make time for you if that's what you want. But please don't be rude to me because I'm not being rude to you. That was it. We did it, Joe. We did it, Joe. Client is done, but I still got one more client, y'all. I'm going to be here to probably about 6.30. I got a gap. I got an hour. But since I got an hour break, I'm going to just go and get on the red light myself um, and get me a little bit of red light therapy because like your girls say, we getting back on our, our healthy train and we maintaining it. We maintaining it. This is what I'm realizing. Like, Rana, you got to be... Ooh, you got to be disciplined. So I'm finding my disciplinary action, plan of action, okay? So... I'm just gonna get on this light because I want to lose some inches around my waist as well. And I can't just be out here snatching my clients and I'm not experiencing what they are experiencing. So I have my red light here, my belt. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it off, get this towel wiped up, um, switched out, and I'm gonna lay down and enjoy myself for the next few minutes while my client, um, why have an hour before my next client? What's up? What's up? Yeah, it's Saturday. Friday, which is not even recorded because I just didn't have time to do so. But y'all, I want to talk to y'all because I, I think I think this is the last place we left off. We was talking about the disgruntled client. Well, the client reached out to Groupon. I had already talked to him because I told y'all I talked to him. But the client still reached out to Groupon and made a complaint. And I was like, I just don't understand what he wants. Like, I'm trying. I, I don't I don't know what you want. But after he reached out to Groupon and I had already talked to Groupon and just told Groupon, just go ahead and give him his refund. The client left me a message and he was apologizing. He was like, he know he was rude. And I was like, see? That's that discernment because I knew I wasn't tripping. That man was really being mean to me. But anyway, that was handled. But unfortunately, 
I did not um, service that client this morning, but sometimes you just have to let, you know, clients be dealing with stuff on their own. But it is important to know that we, the business owners, are the owner and operators, and we just want to be respected too, because I don't, I don't be disrespecting my clients at all. Y'all, but let me show y'all. Let me show y'all what I did today. What I did today. Day, eh, 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 eh. All right. First of all, <laughs> shout out to the waist trainers. To the waist trainer. Y'all know my OGs. Y'all know I sell, I sell what well, was selling the waist trainers in the shapewear. And this is one of the latest ones that I had. But I, um, I didn't advertise this one. So if you brought anything from me or if you've seen the waist trainers in the past, this one is new because it has like the cutout under the booby area so it's not just sitting up on your boobies got your boobies all sitting up it has like that undercut so it's easier to breathe when you're sitting down and i love it honey but what i wanted to show y'all was because i wasn't playing when i went to the gym and got back on my goof i was not playing i was not playing Ooh. let me show y'all let me show y'all chill chill you see that yes I juice today. I juice. And I had got some watermelon yesterday, which I didn't vlog, so I didn't show y'all. But I got some watermelon. The yellow watermelon that has been going viral. I'm going to be honest. I don't like it. it mm -mm. Red for me. Red for me. This right here just tastes like straight water. It really didn't have a flavor. But I made some watermelon juice. And I cut up the yellow watermelon. And I put it in my little cooler. And brought it on the word. Because one thing we're going to do in this season is we're going to get right. We're going to get right. Food, drinks, all of that. Take them sides, and you better choose wisely. 